Hello, everybody, and welcome to Morris Knows It All Movies. Today, we're talking predictions for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Now, as you see here, I've got showing a couple of uh, what movies I think will directly tie in, although I actually do believe Phantom Menace will also be a huge tie in. So, I'd say if you're uh, wanting to prep, probably watch Phantom Menace, the original trilogy, and definitely Last Jedi. I'm sure Force Awakens will tie it as well, but I think those five movies are going to be your main clues. Okay, so we got, I think there are three big predictions that I, I'm just guessing, once again, I'm not an expert, but I am a big Star Wars nut. So, first prediction. Rey will actually form a new order of of but not Jedi, but of Force users. This will, in fact, as the title will be, the Skywalker Order. So, The Last Jedi will actually be true. Uh, loose pro belief that the Jedi's practices, their beliefs, and so forth, were failures. She will form, essentially, a order that will be both dark and light. To essentially eliminate the riddle of the Sith... They will, uh, all four shooters will be in the middle. So the idea is you can use little pieces of both. By rejecting one side, you actually create an uh, imbalance, which is what this whole series seems to be about, is trying to bring balance back to the Force, which is what the Force has been saying all along. Now, um, I suspect... This may also include Ray getting a new lightsaber. So my prediction will be, at some point... They will, Ray will have a new lightsaber. It won't be the one that Anakin and Luke and she have welded. I th wielded. I think it might when she does. If she does build a new one, it will have a different. It won't be blue or green. I think it'll it'll be a different color, which I think will. I think tie into what her uh, future lies. Yeah, you know, that shot of her wielding some kind of really complicated, double wielded or double ended bow that can uh, kind of like a switchblade almost that might actually be not a uh, prophecy or a dark dream that might actually be a weapon she builds but it you know and perhaps in a dream it's red but i think when she puts it together it may turn into a different color my guess would be it might be purple which i've wondered all along if they would only if samuel jackson's mace wind would be the only purple lightsaber but i could see her being the next purple and or it could be pure white, which would be, you know, which is when all the colors kind of combine to get a white perspective. So we'll see them. Uh, second theory. Ray will be in, in, in a relationship with someone, but it won't be uh, Kylo Ren or Ben. While they will be definitely partners in, at some point to team up, I actually believe that uh, Poe Dameron will be the w one she's actually in a relationship with. Finn, unfortunately, I think, will be the sacrificial lamb in this movie. And uh, probably following his prophecy that he's been trying to escape from dying, it'll end with him actually dying in a mostly heroic death. Uh, I expect, when it comes to death, I think we'll probably have three major characters die. Uh, of course, Prince you know, Leia will die. I don't know if they'll say she died of natural causes or have her get killed randomly. I don't know. I think Finn will die. And for the third death, like of major characters, I'm thinking we have to we have to do something about the Skywalker legacy. You know, with Leia dying, I think she would be the last of the direct line, which is why I don't think um, Kylo Ren will die. I think he will return to the name Ben Solo, so I think he will survive. But I do think we will see the end of, and I hope this is not true. This might be. This will probably be the end of C three PO and R two D two. I think definitely three P. Now they've been damaged, broken, and so forth. But I think this time, when they if they do get destroyed, it'll be where they're completely destroyed. No pieces left. They will be gone, gone. So it'll be, you know, to wrap up this Star Wars saga, you kind of have to close the loop on the two that are in, in everything, which is uh, those th those two. So destruction of C three PO and R two D two, I think, is likely. Third prediction. 
my final prediction, which will be we will see not one, not two, not three, but possibly five Force Ghosts. Uh, I think we will see Leia as a Force Ghost. I think we'll see Luke as a Force Ghost. We will definitely see a Force Ghost of Palpatine if he has not had himself cloned, but I think it will definitely be a Force Ghost of him. I also believe we will see a Force Ghost of uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And what I think might be the real surprise won't be, oh, we'll see someone like Darth Maul. Instead, we will see Qui-Gon Jinn as a Force Ghost. So I'm thinking those would be the forward. Now, there's also very good likely that we might see Anakin Skywalker. But, and this is what I think would be interesting, if we do see him, I would, like, I would rather him not appear as Anakin, but as appear as Vader. So there is a possibility of that, but I think definitely we'll see five. And I think if they really want to be neat, really want to throw us a big surprise, we see Qui-Gon and not Anakin. And in part because Anakin, just, and I don't think we'll see Yoda again. I think it, certain things you would expect. I think uh, this is going to be unique in that they want to do some callbacks definitely to the uh, original prequel trilogy. So I think we will see actually Qui-Gon. Once again, these will be Force Ghosts, so who knows how much we'll actually see of them. So anyway, I uh, if you watch some of the clips I posted, you'll see some ideas of what I think might happen. And like I said, I'm hoping if we get a unique twist, maybe Ray will pull out a um, lightsaber. Maybe inside BB-8. I don't think he's, he can actually hold it. But I wouldn't be surprised if R2 has a new lightsaber for her. Just like they did in Return of the Jedi. I would also love to see, if possible, you know, another big battle at a uh, location that's under a some kind of defense shield. So I'm thinking that ice planet, or at least that what I think is actually not a planet, a uh, comet that I think the um, Emperor has been uh, left as his secret base is actually a comet, which I think would make it more interesting than trying to attack a comet further than some frozen planet. Uh, it looks more like it's uh, just a giant block of ice floating in space. So uh, my guess is it's been a comet floating around or uh, traveling through the galaxy for all these years. And now certain events are tied in to allow him and his uh, secret force to arrive. But anyway, if you like my if you like my theories, please comment. If you think I'm completely off, please comment as well. Please like us, subscribe as well. My name's Tom. I hope you enjoyed this discussion on predictions for Rise of Skywalker.